Hello there, so I was scrolling through CVS and I came across an aisle that looked just like a TV commercial. It was an as seen on TV aisle. Everything wanted to be bought. I was picking, I was grabbing, I was putting things in my cart, and then by the end of it all, that bill was not very pretty. The marketing on these items is insane. It makes you believe that you need it in your life, but a lot of the times they can just be gimmicky items. So today, you and me are gonna put these to the test to see if they really do what they say they do. Click this button right here to be notified of future uploads, and if you click it, let me know down below in the comments which of these items is your favorite, and I'm actually gonna be sending one of these your way that way you can test it out as well and you have a chance to win it so the very first item that I just had to pick up was crumbling the mini vacuum <laughs> it's too cute okay so the reason I picked this up is because it's a ladybug it's cute and it's a mini vacuum like, can you imagine all the things you could do with this? I've never seen a commercial on this. Honestly, the only reason why I got this is because it's cute, it's tiny, and it seems pretty useful. So according to the packaging, use it everywhere you make a mess, counters, floors, and rugs. Crumbly, you're gonna be put to the test. For life's little messes, Crumbly the mini cleaner. Pretzels on the sofa. Wait a second. You have to, okay, pause. I thought this was a vacuum that just went on its own. <laughs> what? Dennis is like this in the back. I'm not into it that much anymore. All right. Use crumbly here. So I guess you could use it in your car. You can use it in a diaper bag and on tile four. Crumbly, the mini cleaner. All right, so crumbly is about $5.69. Review wise, four stars. I love these little gadgets. It cleans tables nicely. At first, I thought things just wouldn't work, but then they did. Works well and is cute. That's why I bought it. Let's look at their marketing commercial. Whoa, that's actually pretty cool, but it almost like blows them away. All right, all right, let's put this to the test. This requires two AA batteries. All right, two AA batteries. Okay, crumb busting brush bristles. Ow. Whoa, it's a fan. <laughs> it's a fan. Yay, I'm a kid again. All right guys, let's power, power through this. I'm surprised because these are pretty big pieces of cereal. It's doing pretty well. And it's fun. That sound though. I don't know how much this thing can retain, but I'm just gonna open. Bam. This is how much it got. We're gonna go for a round two. So we were able to pick that out. Take two. Wee! Cleaning has never been so fun. I love this. And the cleaning is done. I give this five stars to Crumby the mini vacuum. It does what it sets out to do. It's cute, it makes cleaning fun, and it's cheap, it's effective. This very next product targets two things. A girl who's hairy, which is me. This is the Finishing Touch Flawless Facial Hair Removal. It looks kind of like a lipstick or a tampon. It is 18K gold, and I had to buy it because it's summer, I'm a hairy girl. Literally, the stash has been growing since the winter, so we're gonna test it out. But before that, we're actually gonna see what this product claims to do. This retails for $19.99, which I think is kind of expensive. Facial hair is the problem for women of all ages, and removing it hurts. Until now, yes, introducing Flawless, wow. the new gold standard in facial hair removal. This looks like a lipstick. Actually, a very oh, fancy lipstick. I like that. Okay, so here's a little secret. I shave my nose hairs and I have a little device that I'm always embarrassed to like take with me everywhere because I don't want people to know I shave my, my, my nose hair. So this is kind of nice. It does look like a lipstick, a very fancy lipstick. But then it's kind of embarrassing. Someone's like, what is this? Hair instantly and painlessly mm, with microscopic precision. I need that. It's free way to remove oh. unwanted facial hair guaranteed. I'm not scared of it. It looks pretty good. It has a light. A built-in light! You can even take out hairs in the darkness. I'm ready for this. Okay, so there's a little switch right here that you turn it on. A light switch.
switch is on and bam. So I don't feel like this is hurting me at all. I actually don't feel anything at all. Gentle on all skin types. It says no bumps, it guarantees no redness, no irritation, and it lets you see even the finest of hairs and it promises you that when you do this like this, your hair won't grow in thicker. So you're supposed to work this in circular motion. So here's the hair. I can feel that actually. It feels warm. <gasps> the hair is gone. The hair is gone, you guys. So I should have probably taken off my foundation because it's kind of coming onto here, just a, a teeny bit. That light though, it doesn't really, I don't get it. We should turn off the lights, see what happens. So Dennis is turning off the lights right now just to see. We're about to define whether this light actually works or not. No, it's done wrong. Cause look, I see it like here, but then if I go like this, I don't really see it. But the light doesn't go where the hairs are. This is hot. Feel this. Do you feel it? Put it up against. Oh, you try it. You try it. You have more hair. Yeah, the real test is Dennis's mustache. I want to see how user friendly Slide it is. Slide cold switch up to turn on. Slide yeah. cold switch up. Use it in circular motion. Not friendly cold for Dennis. Switch. Right here. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh. Man, I'm getting everything on. Can I see? Wait, is it working? Yeah. Not really. Maybe it's not for thick hair, but more peach fuzziness. Circular motion, handsome. You gotta do it for me. Are you gonna shave my beard? Oh, right away. Can you open it? Oh. This thing actually opens and it allows you to get like the excess hair that's inside out, but like, I, there's not much hair in there. This in no way would replace my normal shaver. <laughs> Pretty much. So based on the commercial, I kind of wasn't as convinced. However, using it on me and in comparison to the one that I use, I really liked it. But if you're someone with thicker hairs like Dennis, it's not going to work. It did get a little hot, so you should be careful with this item, but I give it a three stars. Three and a half. Yeah. This next one is the Smart Swab. So I saw this and I had to pick it up. It almost kind of scares me though. It's simply twist to grab and extract your earwax. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It includes 16 swabs that look just like this and they're flexible. And this is what we're gonna stick into our ears. You need to clean your ears. Too much wax or water can impair hearing and cause infections. They make it look so scary. Swabs can hurt. I love swabs. Smart Swab, another bright idea from Bobhead. The new and innovative ear swab. Simply place it in your ear, twist, and remove your earwax. Ew! It's that easy, difficult. That looks so gross. Cotton swabs can go too far and uh... cause pain. Smart Swab's secret is the soft, spiral, grooved head. See, this looks scientific. And safely extracts Ew. it without injuring your ear. Fun. Unpaid first timers. Ironically, the most common cause of earwax blockage she is when people paid. use cotton. My hearing's actually gotten better. My so be hearing careful. has gotten better. 1999 32 swabs. I only got 16. And I got it for the same price at CVS. So time to test out this bad boy. So I've been trying to remove this. I'm afraid I'm gonna break a nail. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. It says to turn in the direction of the spirals. Come in closer. This is gonna get nasty. I wanna try to detach one of these to put a new one on because this is gonna be quite nasty when I have the, the wax in there. So if I don't know how to do this now, <laughs> it's gonna get messy. There we go. All right, so it looks like that. And then you just kind of attach it like that, bam. So we're gonna go this way. Ew, the way it goes in. Ew, it's like something shouldn't be there. How long do I do this for? I must have clean ears. Nada. Would it be nasty if I stick this in this ear? No, that is nasty. You have to use two different cotton swabs for each ear, or do you no, just use it's one? No, per person. Whatever, I'm just gonna do it. I don't, I don't clean my ears like that anyway. You don't clean your ears? No. I clean mine like that. My ears are naturally clean. This little device has these little arrows and you have to turn it in that direction. All right, so I'm gonna use a normal cotton swab just to see the difference, see if it got anything, or if this thing is just a gimmick. This feels better. I would not trade this in for the world. It's so nice and relaxing. Yeah, I just have clean ears. Okay, so I'm gonna get my dad, which is a man with hopefully dirty ears. He, he likes to use con swabs too, so. So this is my dad, and uh, we're gonna be doing, is this a smart swab? <laughs> he says it's soft. Oh, yeah, that's No? <laughs> did you change the tip? I did, I changed the tip. Of course. <laughs> that's it? 
Nothing. Lies. Honestly, I give this uh, a nothing. A zero stars. Because this is so flexible. While it's comfortable, it doesn't pick up anything. Nothing at all. And it doesn't feel that good. The next As Seen On TV product is the Go Belt. I don't know what attracted me to this. It just kind of looks like a seatbelt, to be honest. Wait. It was almost about to be a fail. This basically claims that you could be hands-free. And to me, that's always a bonus because I carry a purse everywhere just to carry a cell phone and some credit cards. The goal belt, the expandable pocket belt. It's flexible, hands-free. You can fit all of your essentials such as smartphones, cash, credit cards, and keys, which is pretty much all I need stuff for. Ooh, you can even put water in there. So it's super stretchy. Ooh, these zippers are not very uh i mean they work it's not that easy to pull down but i think that makes it good because then everything stays in place i feel like this material though like it's pretty transparent can you see me i feel like maybe a key could poke something through here but okay let's see what people have to say about this this item retails for five bucks at target we have a positive review awesome i read reviews after purchasing and thought i'd have to return this but i didn't the thing is like a modern day fanny pack somebody put it is tight does not fit and cannot be adjusted to my waist. This doesn't fit everyone. It's not a one size fits all. This looks kind of tiny. Very nice. I mean, it's, it's... Wrap it around your hands like, like a bandana. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's any videos on this. As yeah, seen on Tired TV. Of hauling around a big heavy handbag? Yeah. Keeping your pockets full all the time? Yes. Has this ever happened to you? No. Convenience needs safety and security. Belt is extra oh. stretchy and move. Oh, I thought he was working out with it. Safe and sound. Good for yoga. It's Whoa. dozens of essentials, and its discreet design stays safely hidden out of sight. That looked kind of sketchy. Hiding this under a shirt. You mean like putting a gun in it? Like, I don't, I don't want to think bad like that, but something <laughs> like that. Put it on, and I can't really even feel that it's even there. It's really nice. soft, actually. Which I'm excited. Is, you don't even know it's there. It's like a whisper. A whisper. Too I like that. So this is like a whisper. Okay, let's test it out. Okay, so before I put the go belt on, I'm going to show you guys what my everyday essentials tend to be like and see if it fits. Usually my phone, a water bottle, a little perfume. You got to smell good every once in a while. My big wallet, a snack, and a lip balm. Clipping it on. What do you think about this? Do you think it's like fashionable? Not at all. Does it really look that bad? I'm feeling it. Honestly, I don't care. I would wear this as opposed to a purse where like my shoulders falling over. I'm gonna put the water bottle. Oh, this has more space. Oh, that's awesome. Even though that would feel a little funky. That's pretty good. Well, it's fine. You know what? Okay. Let's just take away the water bottle. I just want to see if my essentials work. It's okay, I don't have to drink and stay hydrated. Let's make sure my phone fits. That's like really important to me. Bam! Everything hands-free. You could dab. <laughs> I can't dab. The new fashion scent. Functionality, it's pretty good. Could you see yourself like running with this though? I could. I like it. Five stars. That's it. I don't even have to look at myself. But I'm gonna look at myself. I personally find this to be better than a fanny pack. I mean, it molds to whatever you have in here, so it's not it's not that bad. I kind of like it. This may look like a regular ball, but no, it's not. What is this? This is the lighted hover ball, the indoor ball that glides. Ooh! All right, so you turn it on right here. Bam. Pretty. We should turn off the light so that we can see it. That's nice. Works best on carpeted flooring. Interesting. Not for outdoor uses. Oh. Okay, so this feels a little bit cheap to me. I'm kind of digging my nails into here because I like to do stuff like that to items and hurt them. And it's kind of foamy. I mean, it's light. It doesn't really weigh a lot. And you would think it's kind of like a hard material, but no, it's pretty light. Let's see what people are saying about it and let's see what the company is saying about it as well. You're about to be mesmerized. It's here. It's wild. And it's sweeping the nation. And it's unbelievable. Whoa. It looks really cool. <laughs> Finally, a ball that's safe. Anyone. My dog's gonna love this. It's totally cool. My kids love it. Totally. Everyone loves the hover ball. Let's test out the hover. 
hover ball. Okay, so let's play with the hover ball all by myself because I have no friends. That almost looks like it's scratching the floor. Ooh. <laughs> let's see how fun this is. What are your impressions on it? I actually like it. I like the combination of soccer, air hockey, and tennis. I give it a four. I think it's fun, it's sporty, and it's challenging. This, I've been seeing everywhere, and I really, like, I was really interested in this. I just wanted to buy it. This is called the Pouch Couch. I like that little pun right there. Pouch Couch. Oh, so the guy has a carry pouch included, which may include this in it. But this is the star of the show, okay? So, how do you use your pouch couch? Grab the end of the pouch, scoop it up into some air. Oh! You don't have to use anything for this. You just literally grab air and seal the deal. Holds over 500 pounds. The power of air! All right, so we're gonna see what the pouch couch is claiming and what people are saying about it as well. To start enjoying the official pouch couch, simply open it up and unclip the securing buckle. Hold the black chamber opening and unroll. You'll see that the pouch couch with your they free make hand it look easy. Open wow. For this demonstration, that is you're going miraculous. To into you go pouch couch. Keep okay. your arms straight in front of you as you move forward to collect air. Requires a little bit of arm work. Okay, cool. So it looks easy to make. It looks easy to create. It looks easy to store away. Let's see what people are saying about it. Aw, three stars. I thought it had more. Warning, not for children under the age of three. Yes, of course. Ooh, 36% five stars, 30% one stars. Would buy again, pouch cow changed my life. Oh man. Instead of just lying on the floor, wondering why my wife left me, I now lay in my couch, couch, and I think of what I can do to win her bag. Thank you so much, verified purchaser. My granddaughter loves her new trailer. Great size and very comfortable. She looks very, very happy. Let's get ready to rumble. This is gonna be like a parachute. So I have to fill one side up, this one. Then I have to fill this side up. So it's gonna be a lot of work. I will say this is very tiring. There's no air. Air. Are you supposed to seal it like this after? Then I don't get it. Help me! <laughs> Technical difficulties here. All right, so Dennis, the handyman, is taking over. Boom! We don't know how to do this. <gasps> now seal it. Good job, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on it. Oh, this is great. I look uncomfortable, I feel, but this is really great. I love this. I want this. If one of you guys want it, comment below and we'll send it to you, but I'm gonna buy one for myself. If you wanna subscribe, click the link right over here. If you wanna watch my last video, check it out right here. Let me know in the comments which of these is your favorite and I will send it your way. Don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye!